What's up guys? So I'm currently at the airport right now heading to Edmonton for a week and the airport is quite empty right now. A lot of uh, social distancing rules are in place and everyone is required to wear a mask but I think everyone is so far following the rules which is good so we'll see how this flight goes and yeah, we'll see you in Edmonton. It just landed in Edmonton around an hour and a half ago. Back to my dad's apartment now. It's around almost 10 o'clock. A little bit exhausted from the flight, so I'm just gonna call it in for the night. But just overall, the flight was pretty solid. A lot of social distancing. Everyone was pretty much um, apart from each other. So anyone that was traveling by themselves were they were given a row all to themselves and anyone traveling together had one row with with one person at the window then the middle seat empty and then the second person on the aisle so it was pretty spaced out evenly and i think the ha i think the flight was half full so it was all good all right finally out of the house we're gonna drive around see what's open and probably gonna head over to west edmonton mall later since uh, they already started phase two of their reopening here in Edmonton and West Edmonton Mall is allowing shoppers to go inside and shop in Rome. So we'll see what that's like. All right, so I forgot it was Sunday and West Edmonton doesn't open until 12. So we still got two hours before it opens and I'm just out for a drive right now roads are pretty quiet I know it's Sunday but the roads are pretty uh, pretty packed here usually on a Sunday so this is quite different so I just wanted to give a quick backstory on why I'm here so my dad has been working here in Edmonton for the past 13 years and every year since 2007 or 2010 I've been coming here to visit him and he actually retired from his job last week so we just came back here to uh, pack up his apartment and collect his belongings because thanks to COVID, he wasn't able to come back in March when he was vacationing in Toronto. So his apartment was pretty much left untouched for three months. And that's pretty much the plan for the entire week. So hopefully if we have some spare time, I can drive around a little bit more to visit some of my favorite sites before we head back to Toronto because I don't know when the next time I'll be back here. So I just walked out of West Edmonton Mall, did some roaming around, some window shopping, and some actual shopping. It was great retail therapy after a couple of months being inside, not being able to go anywhere. So it was much deserved, well needed. 
So most of the stores were open. Um, a lot of them had lines, from what I can recall. The Apple Store, Uniqlo, Zara, and uh, Michael Kors, Lacoste, among many others, were full, were at capacity. Um, some stores even capped it at less than 10 people. Some stores capped it at 5 people. Um, some stores still, still remain closed. Um, the Disney Store, Victoria's Secret, and some others that I can't remember were still closed, unfortunately. Um, but shopping is still pretty much the same, except for um, the signage for social distancing, directional stickers on the floor indicating where people should go just to balance out uh, the flow of traffic. Um, some stores also had their own had their own rules and restrictions um from what i can remember some stores ask you to take your shoes off if you're going inside a lot of people a lot of stores only accepted uh credit or debit no cash but i guess it's normal now um and one Nice surprise too, as uh, the food courts and the restaurants were, were all open. The seating were at half capacity for social distancing purposes, but it's nice to see that you can actually dine in now. So I guess social life here is somewhat back to normal, So, which, uh, which I've been looking forward to for a long time. So it's finally nice to be able to be outside and doing something other than just being at home. So just dropped off my dad at his office to say goodbye to his co-workers and pack up his belongings so i'm just killing some time drove out to this park called uh, wolf willow apparently it's a big park with uh, 200 step stairs at the end so see if i can uh, climb that and contrary to the to the actual name of the park so I'm just going for a quick drive around see if I can All right, so I'm just driving around to see if I can uh, spot some bison some wildlife so this is pretty much a standard Canadian safari <laughs> That sort of failed. I've been driving around for 45 minutes on this dirt road and I haven't seen one bison. But it's okay. Nice scenic drive though. Went out for a nice hike. A lot of mosquitoes, a lot of dragonflies, but no bison. All right, so it's our second last day and we already pretty much finished packing up the whole apartment. We still have a little bit more to do, so I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here and just post some clips of anything else that I do until the very end. So thanks a lot for joining me on this trip and hopefully this gave you some insight on what it's like to travel during COVID. So we'll see you next time.